Johann Strauss II, affectionately known as the Waltz King, is a monumental figure in the realm of classical music, leaving an indelible mark on the 19th century with his remarkable compositions. Born into a musical legacy in Vienna, Austria, on October 25, 1825, he was the illustrious successor to his father, Johann Strauss I, another virtuoso of the musical arts. Strauss II's journey in music was transformative, taking the paths laid by his father to new heights of grandeur. Unlike his father, Strauss II's prowess led him to be revered as the definitive maestro of the waltz. His life and career were interwoven with the delicate threads of passion and precision, crafting a musical tapestry that would immortalize his name in the chambers of classical symphony. Through his compositions, Strauss II manifested the elegance and vibrancy of the waltz, asserting his unparalleled mastery over this beloved musical form. The personal life of Strauss II was as captivating as his musical career, marked by significant relationships and poignant moments. Strauss II married three times in his lifetime, each marriage painting a distinct chapter of his personal saga. His heart first found companionship with Henrietta Treffs, a singer in 1862. Their union blossomed with harmony and shared musical passions, enduring until fate intervened with Treffs' unexpected demise in 1878. This loss cloaked Strauss in a shroud of sorrow. In his journey through grief, Strauss II encountered solace and companionship in Angelica Dietrich, an actress with whom he exchanged marital vows. Contrary to his previous marriage, this union was marred by unhappiness, eventually navigating the corridors of separation, culminating in divorce. In the autumn of his life, Strauss II's heart once again embraced matrimonial warmth with his marriage to Adele Deutsch in 1887. Their togetherness became a symphony of shared moments and companionship, which played on till the curtains fell on Strauss's life in 1899. A notable absence in the symphony of his personal life was the pitter-patter of little feet. Strauss II's life remained devoid of the presence of children. His personal journey through the realms of love and loss, happiness and sorrow, resonates as a poignant overture that accompanied the grand symphony of his musical brilliance. The vibrant tapestry of Vienna during the epoch of Johann Strauss II was intricately woven with the threads of arts and culture, pulsating with rhythmic energies and cultural blossoms. In this dynamic milieu, where the air resonated with the harmonies of dance music, particularly the waltz, Strauss discovered and nurtured his musical essence. The waltz, an exquisite dance form, had transformed, evolving its steps from the simplicity of folk traditions to the sophistication of an elite social delight. In this captivating ambiance of artistic flourishment, Strauss embarked on his journey through the realms of musical wonder. Initially, his father's reluctance cast shadows on his musical aspirations, a subtle symphony of resistance that echoed with concerns and reservations. Undeterred, Strauss's soul danced to the rhythms of passion, quietly nurturing his musical interests, studying the violin with a hidden dedication. His heart quietly composed a dedication to the world of melodies and rhythms, laying the foundation stones of his majestic orchestra. Vienna, during this vibrant chapter of history, echoed as a grand stage where the symphonies of tradition and transformation played in harmonious coexistence, crafting the musical backdrop against which Strauss would paint his legendary compositions. Here, in the heart of this city, imbued with the essence of cultural richness and artistic passion, Strauss's musical journey took flight, soaring on the wings of creativity and innovation. Throughout his career, Strauss composed over 500 waltzes, polkas, quadrilles, and other dance tunes. Among these, some pieces stand out for their sheer brilliance and have achieved iconic status. The Blue Danube is perhaps his most celebrated waltz and is often considered Austria's second national anthem. Its graceful melodies and flowing rhythms encapsulate the elegance of the Viennese waltz. Another masterpiece, Tales from the Vienna Woods showcases his ability to infuse his compositions with atmospheric sounds reminiscent of nature and the Viennese countryside. However, Strauss was not limited to dance music alone. He ventured into the realm of operetta, a light form of opera. His contributions to this genre were significant, with works like D. Fledermaus and The Gypsy Baron receiving international acclaim. These operettas combined his talent for melody with witty narratives, making them immensely popular during their time, and they remain staples in the repertoire of theaters worldwide. Johann Strauss II, in his illustrious symphony of contributions, didn't confine his musical brilliance solely to composition. 
The maestro embarked on harmonious journeys beyond the frontiers of his homeland, weaving the enchanting rhythms and melodies of the Viennese waltz into the global tapestry of musical art. His role as a conductor became a vessel through which the essence of his cultural heritage flowed, touching the shores of distant lands such as Russia, the United States, and the diverse landscapes of Europe. Every corner of the world where Strauss's baton waved became imbued with the captivating charm of his melodies, creating atmospheres resonating with joy and vibrancy. His presence on the podium was transformative, converting concert halls into magnificent gardens where melodies blossomed and rhythms flowed like enchanting rivers. Audiences across continents found themselves enraptured, swept into the delightful embrace of the music, experiencing the warmth and joy that the Waltz King's creations effortlessly bestowed. In essence, Strauss's global expeditions became a melodious bridge connecting the hearts of diverse cultures and societies to the unique elegance and spirited joy of the Viennese Waltz. His journey as a conductor became a harmonious odyssey, enriching the world's musical landscape and leaving echoes of Austria's exquisite musical tradition in every hall his music graced. Through these journeys, Strauss II became an ambassador of melody and rhythm, ensuring that the enchanting embrace of his music left footprints on the global sands of time. In conclusion, Johann Strauss II's life and music are a testament to his unparalleled genius. He elevated the waltz from a simple dance tune to an art form, capturing the essence of 19th century Viennese culture in the process. Even today, his compositions resonate with audiences, reminding us of the timeless appeal of melody, rhythm, and dance. The legacy of the Waltz King endures, ensuring that his music will continue to enchant generations to come.